Have you ever spent a ton of time editing a photo, making it just right in Lightroom, only to upload the photo to Facebook or Instagram and suddenly it looks like a potato? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best export settings for social media to ensure that your images look their best. Hey, I am Raymond Hadfield. I'm a professional wedding photographer and host of the Beginner Photography Podcast. Over the past 10 years or so, I've uploaded a ton of photos to social media. And today I have a pretty simple system for exporting photos that I wanna share with you. First thing that you need to know is that over 350 million photos are uploaded to Facebook every day. That's a ton of photos. In a year, that is more than 127 billion photos uploaded. That takes up a ton of storage. So to help alleviate that need for endless storage, social media companies like Facebook and Instagram resize and compress photos when they are uploaded. So no matter if you upload a full resolution image at 100% quality, it's not gonna look any better than a photo a fifth of the file size. Now to test this, I took a full resolution image, uploaded it to both Facebook and Instagram, then downloaded the photo that I had previously uploaded to find out what size Facebook and Instagram resize their images to. Facebook resizes its images to 1920 pixels on the long edge and Instagram resized the photo to uh, 1080 pixels on the long edge. So what does that mean? Well, as long as your image is 1920 pixels wide, any larger, and there will be no benefit to the quality when posted to Facebook. Next, image quality. Within Lightroom, you can export images at different quality settings between one and 100. And you might say something like, but I'm a photographer. Image quality is everything. So obviously 100% quality is the only option. But before you press export, remember, Facebook and Instagram are going to compress the photo to save space on their end. Remember, the majority of photos uploaded to Facebook and Instagram come from a simple cell phone which means that they care more about making small file sizes than they do photo quality. Finding that balance in quality in export settings is important, and that's what I'm gonna share with you right now. After doing some testing, to my eyes, there is no discernible difference in quality from an image uploaded at 100% quality and 75% quality. The only difference is that one takes up far less space on your hard drive. So here, I'm gonna share my exact export settings with you. So here within Lightroom, I have a photo that I want to export. Uh, down here, I just click the export button and this little box pops up. Now, uh, what I do is the first thing that I say is that I wanna choose the photo later because uh, that really helps me speed up my export process, and I'll show you how in just a second. Uh, I do want to rename the file, so I'll choose, um, since these are just for social media, I'll just do uh, a wedding social post. All right, and then you can name it or number it if you want to or not. I export my photos as JPEGs as they are the easiest to share across the internet. I put I set my quality to 75%. And then uh, for image resizing, I resize to fit on the long edge of 1920. Remember, that is the largest that Facebook is going to accept a photo. Anything larger than that, it's just going to resize down to 1920 anyway. So you might as well just uh, go ahead and make it that so that it'll save space on your computer. Uh, then we have resolution. I don't touch this. This is not for digital reproduction. This is just for print. So it doesn't matter to me. Um, for sharpen, I click screen and then standard because I know that it's going to be displayed on a screen and Lightroom does a pretty good job of um, sharpening for that specific purpose. So now here's a little bonus tip for you is that after you make all of these adjustments over here you have export presets right so you can just click once you have all the settings set right here for social media then you can click add and then you can just call this um you know which you can see that i already have off to the side but social media post export whatever you want to do and then click create so now next time you go in you know and you export like a full wedding or whatever it is when you're ready to just export a photo for social media all you do is just you just click on that and then it will update all of the settings for uh, to export properly for social media and then you go ahead and click export it's going to pop up this little box where do you want to drop these photos right here in my social media images and done and just like that, the photo has been exported. So now I'm gonna go ahead and upload this photo to Facebook. And then once it's uploaded, I just go ahead and click post. And there we go. Once we go to look at the photo, looks pretty good. And I think the photographers have a pretty solid understanding that social media is not a place to really view and critique images. Social media wasn't, it wasn't made for that. As a photographer, you should be using social media 
to get people to your website. On your website, you have the ability to display photos however you wish. I know that social media is a crazy world, especially for photographers looking to book clients. It can be time consuming for sure. So if you wanna show up consistently on Facebook and Instagram to book clients, go ahead and click this video right here where I'm gonna show you how to schedule out a month's worth of social media in just five minutes.